Welcome to Cooking with Rasta Barbie, Sunday Dinner Edition. First, I'm going to be making smoked brisket. First, I'm going to season my brisket with a smokehouse seasoning, like this. And I'm going to leave it to marinate. Next, I'm going to go on to my jerk seasoning for my smoked jerk chicken. First, I'm adding my browning. Now everyone makes their jerk chicken differently. I use Grace Hot Jerk Seasoning and I mix it with a bunch of other seasonings that I like to mix it with. Um, everyone does their own jerk chicken their own way. Um, this is how I do mine. And I love it and my family and friends love it. So I'm just seasoning my food proper. Now, my, this bottle is almost done, so I'm going to rinse it with a little bit of soy sauce or any type of liquid that you want, and then I'm going to open another one and add some more seasoning. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm adding soy sauce to just about maybe three shakes of soy sauce just to rinse out my jerk chicken, my jerk seasoning bottle. Sorry. Rinse it out and pour it in there. Then I'm still going to go ahead and open up a new bottle of Grace Hot jerk seasoning and add a few more spoonfuls in. We're just gonna mix it up, mix it up, and just like the brisket, I'm going to leave it to marinate before I put it on the grill. And I'm gonna go on to my next side. So, to go along with Sunday dinner, I'm gonna be making sesame stir fried broccoli and carrots, and I'm also gonna make rosemary garlic parm roasted potatoes so now that I'm done with that I'm gonna let it marinate and get started on the other dishes This is how your jerk chicken should look before it gets marinated. After it's marinated for about 30, 45 minutes, get your grill ready and throw it on the grill. And go ahead and get started on your other dishes for Sunday dinner. It smells so good. Now you're going to get your potatoes and you're going to cut them into half moon shapes. You're going to want to wash them. I'm 
I'm going to go to my garden and get some fresh rosemary to add to the dish. Once I've washed them, I'm going to go ahead and chop them up and add it to the washed potatoes. Then I'm going to go ahead and add some minced garlic. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some oil and the rest of my seasonings. I'm going to add some paprika, salt, pepper, and any other seasonings you'd like to add. That is a garlic, salt, and pepper mixture that I've just added. To that, I also added onion powder, garlic powder. Then I've mixed it up nice and proper. Now I've lined a sheet tray with aluminum foil and I'm spraying it with olive oil. Then I'm going to go ahead and put my potatoes on the sheet tray, adding all of the yumminess from the bowl to the potatoes. You're going to put it in the oven at 400 for about 25 to 30 minutes or until they look golden like this. Once they come out the oven looking golden like this, you're going to want to go ahead and add your Parmesan. And then you're going to want to go ahead and plate it. And it should look and taste yummy like this. And this is your rosemary garlic parm roasted potatoes. Now we're going to go ahead and get started on our broccoli and carrot sesame stir fry. You're going to want to julienne your carrots like this. I'm going to add some sweet yellow and red peppers cut into rings like this. It's a very simple recipe. And your broccoli cut into nice bite-sized pieces. Fresh broccoli. You're going to want to use fresh broccoli for this recipe for it to come out nice, fresh, and crispy with some kind of crunch. You want to get a cast iron skillet or whatever pan you have available to use and spray it with olive oil. You're going to want to add in your carrots. Go ahead and saute those for a few minutes or until it starts to cook down a bit like this then you're going to want to add in your sweet peppers and you're going to want to cook those down a few minutes two to three minutes tops two to three minutes till they look like this then you're going to want to add in some butter, unsweetened butter preferably, and cook it a few more minutes, maybe two minutes tops. And then you're going to want to add in your broccoli. Go ahead and mix it in. We're gonna want to probably add maybe a teaspoon, a tape. I'm sorry, a tablespoon or two of water, just to help cook the broccoli through a little bit. Cover it for a few minutes, and then it should look like this. Then you're gonna want to add in your sesame stir fry sauce and stir and let it thicken and let it cook for about two to three minutes until it looks like this. And you are going to enjoy this. It is delicious. It basically tastes like Chinese 
broccoli and chicken and broccoli without the chicken. It's delicious. This is what your jerk chicken will look like when it's done off the grill. Delicious, nice, tasty fall off the bone. Your brisket, once it's done, it should look like this. Delicious, juicy. Of course, you're going to want to let it sit and rest. As you, When you cut it, it should look like this. Again, your jerk chicken should look yummy like this. And your potatoes again. And this was my Sunday dinner. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please go and follow my TikTok, Cooking with Rasta Barbie. Please go and follow my Instagram, Cooking with Rasta Barbie. Thank you for all the support. Please subscribe, like, and hit that notification button. And again, bless up. I appreciate all the support. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment if you have any questions or requests for future videos. Look at that broccoli. It just caught me. It looks so good. Oh, my God. That dinner was so good. Everybody was so happy. Them belly did full. Everybody did not fall asleep after them eat them dinner. This dinner was good. Oh, my God. She's so good. Bless up. Blessings to you all. Thank you for watching. Bless up. More love.